So I rented it out of Tesla, specifically the refreshed Model 3 for the whole month of August and the amount of money that I saved on gas was insane. I have the numbers, I'm going to break it down to you guys exactly how many kilometers I went, how much electricity bill, because I did charge at home as well, how much supercharging cost me, based on the numbers that I've got so far. And the, and the savings are in flipping incredible. Electric vehicles are the future, and I, I don't care what anyone says, all right? I'm just going to put that out there, but let's get down to it. Smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. This is how much I saved on gas the month of August, the entire month. And by the way, guys, I did write all this on X, so if you guys aren't following me on X, then I don't know what you guys are doing. You guys are missing out on a lot of interesting info. All right, so the whole month of August, I've driven 3,500 kilometers. I am in Canada, so we are going to go based on kilometers and Canadian currency. So that's important to note. But I've driven 3,500 kilometers in the whole month of August. That comes down to almost 120 kilometers every single day. Yeah, I went places. I went to cottages. I went to beaches. I went like, I went to places with this thing. And the amount of savings is absolutely crazy. Here are, this is how much I spent on charging. $45 at home electricity bill, because it was plugged in 80% of the time. I didn't get the charger until a week later. That's okay. But that's $45 for home charging. Then around $30 for supercharging. Based on, based on the numbers that I have, it may be to 50 bucks, but based on what I have is $30. That's a total of $75, let's say $100 if I'm misle if I'm mistaken some of them, if I didn't add one of the supercharger bills in it. Let's say $100, total of $100 in just charging the flipping vehicle in one month, which is not bad. It's actually pretty cheap. If you compare that to a gas vehicle here in Canada and Toronto, the cost savings are insane. This is how much it would have been if it was gas. The same amount of kilometers, again, 3,500 kilometers driven, would make me go to the gas station to fuel up six times. Six times on an average tank of 50 liters. And the average gas price here in Toronto in all the month of August, it was an average of $1. and sixty liters per liter. Again, this is all Canadian dollars, right? That comes down to around $480 compared to 75 bucks or rounding up to 100. That is a $400 save. It's, it's mind boggling. It's absolutely mind-boggling that I have saved around $400 just on gas alone. Or not even gas, just, you know, paying for electricity, you could say. Or the fuel for the car, or the charge for the car, just, you know, call it that, the charge of the car. I only paid $75 to $100 compared to what would have been almost $500 if I drove that around with gas, with the gas car. That's absolutely insane. And you guys might say that, oh, you know, but a Tesla or an EV... You know, what's the insurance? The cost on that vehicle is a whole lot more. Well, not really, because a standard Model 3, the 2024 version here in Toronto, brand new, is about $40,000. I mean, that's that's actually not bad. And, and insurance is less on these vehicles because they're the most safest vehicles on the road. It's not like a Toyota or all the other cars where it's pretty expensive. These guys are pretty darn cheap and also not to mention that you're not going for any oil changes you're not going for any you know services every 5,000 kilometers it doesn't have any oil I mean it, it, it's it's just one big battery and you probably have to go every 50,000 kilometers to get just the tires and the brakes and the fluids all that things checked but other than that your the savings on this vehicle is absolutely madness now I know what you're saying you're, I know what you're saying. Well, okay, you know, as more and more vehicle, electric vehicles get on the road, electricity is going to get more and more expensive. Well, that is true if the electricity wasn't coming from oil, gas, and all those other, you know, commodities. If the energy is coming from the sun, which all superchargers are coming from the sun, then they're always going to be cheaper than gas. I, I don't see a world where gas prices are going to go below a dollar per liter. If every if if the whole market is going EVs, there's no point of gas stations, you know? So I don't see that as an excuse saying that, oh, you know, electricity is going to get more expensive. No, it's not. We've got energy storage is coming, right? Tesla supercharger stations all being fueled by the sun. It's 100% renewable, 100%, which is insane to me, but it's 100 flipping percent renewable. And the crazy part here is that Tesla 
is making an ecosystem within itself. It's an ecosystem within its, within its own company. Part of Tesla's ecosystem is the solar panels, which I know they've been lacking recently on, but they are working hard on it. The idea in the future is that most homes will have solar panels. Now, obviously, they have to be cheap. They, ha they have to be affordable, not expensive as they are now, but I do think they will get there. They do have the solar panels, meaning that they'll have the power wall and the they can charge the vehicle at home essentially charging it for free. One of my friends up here, they have a solar panels, they charge it at home, and they pay pretty much nothing for the fuel or charge of the vehicle. The only thing that you would have to pay for is when you supercharge, and that itself is 60 to 70% cheaper than gas stations today. Today. So this idea of electricity is going to become expensive or, or the same as gas, there's other methods to it. If the energy is coming from the sun, which it doesn't charge anybody, it doesn't make sense to charge us for it, right? So I don't think it's going to get as expensive as, as, as everyone thinks. I do think it, obviously it will increase a little bit as more demand goes up for electricity, but as more and more sustainable energy methods come into play, I don't think this is going to be much of an issue in my opinion. But nonetheless, this $400 saved and we're in 2024 when i rented it out of tesla back in 2021 which was the model s plaid when i charged that it was practically a little bit the same i know prices have gone up just a little bit for supercharger but charging at home it's the same it's absolutely the same which is a sheesh moment but that's how much i've saved and it's incredible it's absolutely incredible saving 400 dollars. that means just on this alone the savings on this alone basically pays for the insurance for the whole month. The savings pays for the insurance, which is just, it's absolutely nuts. It's absolutely in flip insane. But that's how much I save for the whole month of August. Let me know how much you guys save on electricity if you guys do own an EV or even a Tesla in the comments below. I'm curious to know. But just to let you guys know, I am going on a vacation, one week vacation to Mexico for a whole week. So I may not be posting for a whole week. If anything, I'll post something when I'm there, a quick video through my phone. But I am taking this one week off, chilling, relaxing. Then I'm going to come back and get to flipping business. In the meantime, I have a whole Tesla podcast you guys can check out right here. Just binge right through it with all the cool people that I've met and uh, all the other cool things, interesting facts that I do split here. If it's not here, it's here. It's either one of these places. Subscribe, guys. I shall see you guys in Mexico, I guess. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. See ya.